Hello bikers, welcome to another educational episode from Moto Extreme. In this episode, you will learn how to behave on the roads and see some interesting moments caught on bikers camera. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Biker admits he was careless while riding. The vehicle on the left suddenly stopped and he didn't notice that the vehicle on the right was taking a turn. Biker's rear tire lost traction, and it led to him getting launched off once he hit the curb. Luckily, he wasn't injured, but the adrenaline rush was insane. This biker's wide fuel tank got caught in the rut and dragged him off his bike. Luckily, his buddy was there to give him a hand. Yeah, big old. <laughs> oh. Careful, there's a big hole! <laughs> oh. ah. oh. Mello was riding on a wet, chalky rut. The front wheel climbed up the side of the rut while he was trying to dodge the foliage on the left, causing the front wheel to wash out. Chalky rock! <laughs> Fuck. Lorenzo says he usually has trouble when he leans on that bike because of seat height and him being too tall. Luckily, he wasn't injured. This biker had one of the craziest speed wobbles ever. Take a look. Ow! This is exactly why you need to slow down on roads you're unfamiliar with. This bike was riding at 137 kilometers per hour when, well, I'll let you see what happened yourselves. This white car pulled out and didn't give way to the biker, leading to him falling off his bike. Unfortunately, they were only given a warning by the police and their insurance hasn't paid anything yet, although it's been years. Yeah. This biker noticed a fallen guy on the street. He was staring at him, debating whether to go help him or not. He didn't notice the car in front that was already stopped to help the same exact guy and he crashed into it. This biker in front was taking a turn too widely and it resulted in him falling off his bike. This biker was entering the intersection when this car didn't stop and hit him. Somehow, the driver claims that he did not see the biker coming. This is quite a funny way to fall off your bike. Oh, and boop, it went down. <laughs> this is a pure example of how not to fall off your bike. Jaywalkers are everywhere, and you need to keep your eyes widely opened. This track motorcycle went down while riding on Canyon Road. Luckily, nobody was injured. That's a 
girl rider. This biker tried to do a wheelie, and he ended up embarrassing himself. Take a look. This woman failed to check her blind spot and she ended up crashing into this biker. She even tried running away. Luckily, the biker managed to catch up to her. This biker fell off his Yamaha. Luckily, his buddy was there to help. This biker was riding in the desert when he fell off his bike. Luckily, he wasn't injured. All right, one more sand dune to go. Oh, mate, oh, let's have a look. Over the top. Righto, pick this piece of shit up, let's go. Oh, heavy. Righto. Don't really want to do this at the end of the day. Here we go. Riding on the track is fun and all, but sometimes it doesn't go according to plan. <laughs> this biker almost hit a dog, and his reaction was hilarious. You all right? You all right? <laughs> I just want to play. <laughs> and this is exactly why you need to slow down on turns. This biker was skilled enough to avoid falling off his bike. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how these traffic lights are useless to some drivers. This could have ended very badly. Driving like that, man. What's your you just go like back there on 7th Avenue and uh, Carefree Highway. You went in the right turn lane and you just went through the intersection. You got it? You're, you're driving like a You're gonna get yourself and someone else hurt. What are you doing? Really? Now you're gonna threaten me? I've got you all on camera, by the way, buddy. Oh no. Just don't do anything stupid. That's all I'm saying. You pull out a knife on me, you know you can go to jail for something like that. You know you can seriously get arrested for the way you're driving, just take it easy, man. I don't even know you, dude. I that, didn't come close it to doesn't you. matter what. Do no, it's to you, fine. Dude. I didn't do you don't to have you. to That's cause a big harm. Do a thing to you. You're getting yourself, you're putting yourself and other people in quite a wow. bit of danger. You're driving fast. What if you didn't see someone like me and you hit me? I see you the whole time. You got a bright yellow jacket. 
But the point is, you might not. You're just, I have no problem with speeding. I mean, let's be honest, it's fun. But you're, you're, okay, it really is just the way you went at the right turn lane and you went through the intersection like that. That's just incredibly stupid way and back dangerous. On like 16th Street or it doesn't right? matter when it happened. Yeah. Okay. It's just, I mean, and then really pull a knife on me? Like, seriously? I don't know you. Did you get a gun in there? I don't know you. Hopefully not, and probably not, if but... A preemptive threat does not excuse you from threatening me. You understand that, right? That's... Maybe there's a coyote behind you. You never know, do you? Oh my God. Remember people, indicating does not give you the right of way. What is this driver even thinking? Cutting people off like that? What is this driver doing? First off, driving in between the lanes as if he owns the road, and then almost running the biker over? This could have ended very badly. This is why you need to be aware of the road conditions you're riding on. People, please look carefully before pulling out. This driver indicated right, then went to the left. Is he trying to hurt the biker on purpose? This biker noticed that a UPS driver dropped a package on accident, so he made sure to chase him down and let him know. It's not every day you see a flying tent in the middle of the road.
bikers. Every biker's nightmare. This driver saw the biker and still kept going. What the heck? I am pretty sure this is not how you do a U-turn. You can't just cross two lanes at once. This driver is way too clueless. He didn't even look at incoming traffic before pulling out. Oh boy, this could have ended way badly. This gas trailer was way too close. This biker captured a car wreck on the road. This is what happens when you don't indicate or check your mirrors. This is exactly how not to switch lanes. What is this biker thinking driving this late at night with no lights at all? Is this pickup truck driver blind? Ever really need to be reminded to stop for the stop sign? Stop sign. <laughs> Dick. And on this day, bikers, a new bike fan was made. <laughs> you have more bike when you're older? Yeah, probably. Good bad. Yeah. Have fun on that. If this isn't the quickest friendship ever made, I don't know what is. 500, yeah. You right? I pulled up, I was like, that looks familiar. Sorry, bud? I pulled up, I was like, that looks familiar. Yeah, there, there's not much difference, is there, really? This biker probably made this kid's day in less than a minute. This biker noticed that a fellow rider ran out of gas, so he did what any biker would do. Go out of his way and push him to the closest gas station. Take a look. Oh, no, no, no. Uh. I've been trying to push you all the way there to the gas station. Yeah, yeah, where can I have? Can I push you? Can I push you? Yes, with the foot. If you want to come over here and see if I can push you. From the corner there. If you want to take the one of these, take the foot pay. Look. Take the foot pay. There's the gas station. There's the gas station. Let's go a little bit.
aquí está. Simón. Simón. Te quiero llevar así, te pucho. Te pucho, ahí te la llevas. Aquí está Yaira. Mira, aquí está ya. Notice this fan. He is not using his turn signal lights and cuts us off. So I honked at him just so he would notice us. But he also honked back at us. So I slowed down to make a contact with him and ask what's the problem. Later I realized that the driver and the van itself is from our town. I just kept on following him. But it seems that as if he didn't notice. I know he can see me through the side mirrors. So I kept on saying that I already got it on camera. And just so you know this is for my safety as well. To those who drive for wheel vehicles. Bikers, I just uploaded this video and the clips are even crazier than what you just watched. Click here to watch it. Trust me, you won't regret it. I'll see you over there.